is a synchronous counter designed. So synchronous counter can count up and down and can be designed to produce a special purpose count sequences, sequences of non-consecutive number. Okay, so actually in this uh, subtopic, you will learn how you can design the synchronous counter circuit based on the given uh, counting sequence. So this uh, counter circuit is actually uh, one example of a circuit that has a count sequence of non-consecutive numbers of 0, 2, 4 and 6. Okay, so meaning that if you run this uh, circuit, it will show you the count sequence of this number. Synchronous counter design will follow the systematic procedures uh, which is to specify the count sequence required and to determine the input logic expression to obtain the desired count sequence. Okay, so to design a synchronous counter circuit, you must remember the JK flip-flop citation table, okay, which is the value of input of J and K. So the JK flip-flop excitation table will describe the input conditions that produce the output state from each individual JK flip-flop. This is the JK flip-flop excitation table. So what uh, is the most important thing for this JK flip-flop is actually the input J and K. So we, you will use this input J and K okay, in your excitation table, which is in your step okay, in designing the synchronous counter circuit. Okay. So based on this uh, excitation table, okay, you have four transition of state from present state to the next state. Okay. So you have uh, the first transition is between present state 0, next state 0. So meaning that you need to figure out what is the input of JK when your present state 0 and then you will change to next state which is uh, value 0. Okay. The second transition is between present state 1 and the next state also 1. So the first two state here the value of present state and next state is the same value. Okay. And then the next transition is between present state 0 and next state 1 and present state 1 and next state 0. So I will explain to you how you can get, get this value of input J and K. So actually the value of input J and K here is actually based on the mode, okay, the mode of uh, J and K. So mode for J and K, you can get from this JK truth table. Okay. So the JK truth table, uh, you must remember from the first or the beginning of the chapter 8, okay, which is uh, you have this truth table. So uh, you know that J and K have to input, which is uh, J and also K so that's why you have four combination K0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 okay. so for each combination uh, is actually represent by one mode okay. for example if your J is 0 K is 0 so the mode is actually equal to whole okay. and then what happened to your Q so mode whole meaning that uh, you will have the same value of Q okay. Uh, if your previous state is 0, so your next state for your Q also 0. That means by hold, you hold the same value. And then for reset, if your J is 0, K is 1. So this uh, combination of input for JK is uh, representing mode reset. Okay, so what means by mode reset? Okay, meaning that your Q will uh, equal to 0. Okay, so the, no matter the value of your present state, your next state uh, or your Q will always 0. Okay, the next uh, input is 1, 0. Okay, J1, K0 is actually representing the mode set. 
So the mood set meaning that your Q will always one. It will always one. Okay. And the last mode is toggle. So the mode toggle happen when your J is 1 and your K is 1. So what happened your Q? So toggle mean uh, you need to invert okay, your present state or your value of Q. Okay, meaning that if your previous Q uh, is 1, so when the mode is a toggle mode, so your next Q will be 0. So you will invert. Uh, complement okay, or invert the value of Q. So that's why here the Q is equal to Q bar. So you refer uh, back to this JK flip file citation table. Okay, so refer to the first transition. Okay, when your present state 0 and next state 0. Okay, this is the transition. Okay, meaning that the changes. Yeah, so you need to think uh, two mode okay two mode for this situation okay so the first mode okay what is the mode okay, that can represent these two situation okay meaning that both states have the same values present state is zero next state also zero so what is the mode that can represent this situation? Okay, so the mode that can represent this situation is whole, right? Okay, because whole meaning that you carry the same value. Okay, so if your present is 0, next is also 0. So that situation is representing whole. Okay, so for the mode whole, comes from input J and K, 0, 0. Okay, so the value in the bracket is actually uh, comes from truth table j and k okay so whole a okay, whole happen when j0 k0 so this one eh? so this is actually j this is k okay so 0 0 meaning that the mode is whole okay so that is the first mode okay so the second mode that you need to find for the transition of 0 0 is actually uh, you need to find mode that uh, can make the value of Q is always 0 based on the truth table. Uh, so you need to go back to your truth table. So based on this truth table, you need to find the value of Q that equal to 0. So in this second uh, mode, you need to refer only uh, the next state value. Okay. So you need to find the mode that next state value is equal to 0. Okay. So based on proof table, the Q that equal to 0 is here. So you need to find what is the mode okay. that Q is equal to 0. So Q is equal to 0, the mode is mode reset. Okay. So mode reset. So that's why here you have another mode which is reset. Okay. And then when you can get mode reset. Okay. When your J is 0, your K is 1. Based on this truth table, right? K0. Uh, sorry, J0, K1. So you have mode reset. Okay. So this is J and K. Okay. You have two mode. So based on these two mode. Okay, you need to uh, represent uh, the value or the input for J and K. Okay, so here, okay, input for J and K. So Y, the mode for, uh, sorry, the value of input J and K is 0x. Okay, because you need to compare between uh, both values for J and K for mode hold and also mode reset. Okay, so based on this two mode, you can uh, ref you can see that both modes have same value of j, right? Because for both uh, for mode hold, j is zero. Mode reset, j also zero. So that's why input j here is zero. 
but for value of k for both modes okay so for whole mode the value of k is zero okay and then for mode reset the value of k is one so you have different value of k okay so what is the value that you can uh, represent okay for these two different value okay so you can use x you can use x you cannot use one or zero okay because k now have different values okay why x so x is actually uh, come from the the same situation in your k maps if you remember in your k map what uh, what is the meaning of x in your k maps okay x in your k maps is actually can carry two values right either zero or one so that's why if you have different value of k in this case is k is the value okay different value so that's why you need to use x okay to uh, represent the value of k okay for both modes okay. right so for the second transition okay one to one okay so you also need to find uh, two mode okay because uh present state is one Okay, next state also one. You have same uh, value for both states, so that's why the first mode is whole. Okay, and then when mode is whole, this is the value of your J and K zero zero based on this two table. Okay, and then for the second mode. Okay, for the second mode, you need to find. Okay, in your truth table, in your J K truth table. When the Q is equal to 1, what is the mode okay, that can make the Q value is equal to 1? So based on this truth table, this is the value of Q that is equal to 1, right? So what is the mode? So the mode is mode set. Okay, mode set. And then mode set happen when K is 1 and then, uh, sorry, J is 1, K is 0. Okay, so based on these two modes, the input of JK is X0. Why X0? Because the value of J, K and K, K for these two modes. Okay, so J for these two modes, uh, you have different value. The whole, the value of J of whole is 0. The value of uh, J for set is 1. Okay, you have different value of J. So that's why okay, the value of J here, you need to use X. The value of K is same value, which is both carry value 0. So that's why X 0. Okay. So for the third transition, present state and next state have different value. Okay. So uh, what is the mode? Uh, when your present state is, is 0, next state is 1. Meaning that you have changes of uh, value. Okay. So you need to remember the truth table of your J and K. Okay. So the mode that can represent the situation, meaning that the changes of uh, state, the value of state, okay, is mode toggle. Okay, why mode toggle? Because... If you refer to your Q value, your Q value will have will uh, equal to Q bar. Okay, so Q bar meaning that you will change the value of your input. Okay, so you consider that present state is your input and then next state is your output. So when your present state is zero and then your next state is one, okay, meaning that you have changed, right? You complement the value of your present state. So that's why the first one. Okay, is toggle and then toggle happen when your j is 1 k is 1 right okay j1 k1 okay so that's why here is 1 1 and then another mode okay, you need to find is actually uh, the value of next state only okay based on your truth table okay so which mode that can make the value of Q is equal to 1. Okay, so here, which is set mode. Okay, 
Okay, set. So set would happen when your j is 1, your k is 0. So you compare between uh, j and k for both modes. Okay, so here, okay, this is your j, this is your k. Okay, so this is j, this is your k. So based on these two uh, values, it shows that j have the same values for both modes. Okay, so that's why here j is 1. But k have different value because toggle the k value is 1, set the k value is 0. So that's why k value here is x, 1x. Okay, so when your present state is 0, next state is 1, your input must be 1x. Okay, and then your last transition is 1, 0. Okay, so 1, 0. So what is the mode that can represent this situation? The changes of present state and next state, of course. You also use a toggle mode. Okay, because you complement the value of your present state. Okay? And then toggle mode comes from your j is 1, k is 1. Okay? And then another mode that you need to think for this transition, okay, for our last transition, is actually you need to find the mode that can make your q value is equal to 0. Okay, q value that equal to 0. So here, so what is the mode? Q value is equal to 0 is when you have mode reset. Okay, you have mode reset. And then mode reset comes when your j is 0, k is 1. Okay, so input j and k for present state 1, next state 0 is x1. Why x1? Because j for both value have different values. Toggle your j is 1. Reset your j is 0. So that's why we represent j here as x value. K for both mode have same values. K okay, which is 1. So that's why k here is 1. So this is actually the 4 input j and k that you need to remember. Okay. When your present state 0, next state 0, your input must be 0x. When your present state 1, next state 1, your input must be x0, input j, k. Okay. When your present state 0, next state 1, your input j, k must 1x. And the last one, when your present state 1, next state 0, your input j, k must x1. Okay, so... Uh, the di this diagram actually shows you the sum summarization of this uh, transition. Okay, so here, 0, 0, okay, your value must be 0x. Okay, this one, the first one. Okay, 1 to 1. Okay, 1, 1 must be x0. Okay, 0, 1. Okay, so 0, 1, 1x. One so 0, 1, 1, x. And then lastly, 1, 2, 0. Okay, 1, 0 is x, 1. Okay, so this is the JK flip flop excitation table that you must remember. So you must remember this spot. Okay, what is the input of J and K when you have uh, present state value of 0 for example, next state 0 so what is the input of JK that, that one you must remember okay? 